Now, for me, debating people on Twitter is a fool's error. And first of all, Twitter, I think, is pretty much a sewer of people who are just throwing insults at one another. So I rarely respond on Twitter. I just put stuff on Twitter that I think people might want to be aware of or read. Usually it's a link to an article of some kind, but I rarely interact. However, in this case, I decided to have a short response, and this podcast is going to be a longer response because, as I say, you really can't respond in any depth on Twitter. So when he said, are you an apologist or a political commentator, please commit to one man. This is absolutely hurting cross-examined whether you realize it or not. So here is my short response in Twitter. I said, can you preach or live the gospel freely in Afghanistan? The answer is no. Why? Because of politics. Sorry, But if you don't think politics are important, you don't think the gospel is important, nor do you think the safety and flourishing of other people is important. That was my response. Now, let me say that this man does have a point. And in fact, there's a ditch on either side of the road when it comes to politics or any endeavor, actually. If you get involved in politics too little, then people get hurt, freedoms are lost, and the gospel is squelched. However, if you give politics too much attention, as if it is your savior, then you've made politics an idol.